Well, look at the Fleming Grimace on Mfumo right next to us. That is as close as you're ever going to get to a Fleming Grimace. Oh, don't sneeze on me now. That is not very pleasant of you. You just sneezed. Pretty much it almost hit the car. That's how close he is. But how cool was that Fleming Grimace? So he's smelling the female. He's sniffing around. He's even salivating. You can see droplets coming out of his mouth as he's sniffing. So he's picking up the scent on this female. And he's working out what's going on. Look at that. How cool is this, guys? That is as good as it gets. So what he's doing is he's got two pits in the roof of his mouth. And that is called the organ of Jacobson. And as he's pulling up the scent from the ground where the female is lay or urinated, he's able to work out what this female is. Is she pregnant? Is she got cubs? Is she a female that's receptive for mating? If it's one of the males, who he is? So this is their communication. So this is how they work out what's going on. It is an amazing thing to see. And the fact that he's salivating so much, you can actually see it dripping off his nose in the light. Do you see that? That is incredible. Now I'm trying to move myself out the way because he's getting that close that we're in a bit of a th problem. So there we go. You can see just how close he is. How cool is this? This is the best thing ever to have lions at this proximity. I just want to turn this light off because I'm blinding the others. And his mane all highlighted like that. Isn't that cool? What a great way to see a big male lion. That is as good as it gets, guys. We are being spoiled with him so close. And Fumo, you're doing a fantastic job, except that you're a little bit too close to the car. He's smelling. Can you see the dust blowing as he sniffs? There again. Oh, look at that. Now, this is it. So, we're just going to take a sneaky photograph because, well, we can. And it's not every day we get to see them at this proximity. How cool. That really is so epic. We have been spoiled this cat today. We've had cheetah in the Mara this morning, lions in the Mara, lions here on Juma, leopard. It doesn't get any better when it comes to a cat today. We've been absolutely spoiled. So Feline Friday was an absolute success. Cat today has been an amazing day as well. And it's not every day that we get, well, I suppose nowadays with the Mara, it is, we're getting it more and more regularly that we have the three big cats of Africa on quite a regular basis so it's something very special about combining the two of them and to see this and to have a male walking around us Fleming grimacing like this is just a very special special way to end our afternoon so since I'm saying he's got a beard well it's more like a dreadlock that he's got underneath there you do see it from time to time with these guys oh, I think this is the longest I've ever seen a male lion Fleming grimace for he's done it I can't even count now how many times he's put his nose down and picked up the scent. Maybe because the other females were here and initially, who knows? Maybe the, he's picking up the scent for the other Nkuma members, or he's picking up the scent for all his for his brothers as well as that female. And that's why he's just decoding who's who as he sniffs around. He's picking up all of these different sort of smells and chemical signatures and just making sure of who he's got you and if there isn't a chance that he can potentially mate. He's not interested in the buffalo at all. He walked straight past the buffalo. You can see the buffalo is just off to his left. He hasn't gone there at all. He sniffed at it for about one second. And he's not interested in that. He wants to see where this female has gone. But look, he's on the exact path that she was walking earlier. Isn't that amazing? So earlier, she walked at that exact way. Dave, you say this is so captivating. Well, it is indeed, isn't it? It has been very cool to witness, and it's amazing to see how he's decoding. It's almost like a little mystery that he's going through. Oh, look at that. He's going to do it straight towards us. There's something about it being an IR that makes it that much more creepy, in a way, when he bears his teeth like that. Of course, there's no ill intention from him. It's not any danger to us. But in this infrared, it just looks that much more kind of dramatic, doesn't it? It's almost like the classic black and white look makes it that much more cool there we go again oh in the dark all the scars 
Jennifer, you're asking if I can smell his breath. Well, just now when he was much closer, then yes, you could actually smell it. We had this quite kind of warm wave of air come towards us as he exhaled a little bit. But you, it's not like he's breathing too hard at the moment. If he had to roar at this proximity, we would probably smell it and you would see the air actually being forced towards us, which is pretty crazy. But I can tell you that I've smelt lion's breath before at a closer level and it is not very pleasant at all. They don't have nice, clean teeth. Oh, thorn in the foot. Look how he's going to groom it out. See how he gets his tongue in there. You can actually see the thorn stuck on his foot. Look, you see there? He's busy pulling it out. There we go. Pulled it out. And now he can walk. There we go. Oh, and he is looking fantastic. Now, earlier I was saying Mfumo might be one of the smaller of the Birmingham Coalition. But now that I see him up and standing... They're all very similar. They're looking all massive and muscular. Look at the muscles rippling off his shoulder area. I don't know who's the biggest. I would have to, we'd have to see them all walking side by side to make a proper comparison. It's difficult these days. But he seems to be slinking off back in the direction of the female. He's gone right behind another vehicle. So, unfortunately for us, I don't think we're going we're gonna to have to reposition if we want to see him. Let me try and see if I can move here, Senzo, because otherwise we're not going to see anything. Now, while I try and catch up again with him full more and see where he's going. In fact, actually, what I might do is let's go spend some time with Tinio because Mfumo is moving off towards where the female is. So let's go spend some time with Tinio because we haven't really looked at him much today. And while we do that, let's go back to Byron, who's still with his spotlight. And I wonder if he's going to be able to catch a feathered friend tonight because I know he loves the owls. And well, it would be a perfect way to cap off a wonderful afternoon in the bush. <laughs> 